Mr. T. Ricardo Whiting, President and CEO of the Bahamas Outstanding Students Foundation. Thank you very much, Madam Moderator, Madam Patronage, Mr. Simmons Johnson, Member of Parliament, my friend and brother Theo Neely, Reverend Kay, other distinguished teachers, principals, students, parents, if there are any in the audience today, it is indeed a pleasure to be among you today and to be among the brightest and the best students on the island of Eleuthera. You have done yourselves well. And I think you ought to be giving yourselves a round of applause. Like your member of parliament, I am happy. I am contented because I know Eleuthera is in good hands. Eleuthera is in good hands because we're looking in their faces today. Nowhere else across the length and breadth of this island are the students who are the top of their class. Nowhere else can you find them today but here in Eleuthera at the resort center. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, it is. And what does that mean to me? When we can all bring them here together, it tells me that our teachers, our principals, our administrators, and our parents are doing an excellent job. Give your parents and teachers job, I believe, that they agree among themselves, that we will reach each student, one student at a time, one class at a time, one subject at a time, one school at a time, and one island at a time, with one district superintendent of education at a time. And that's why we have the kind of success that we have because of the type of leadership that Eleuthera has in education, leading our schools one day at a time. And I think we ought to commend our patronage, Mrs. Uh, Ellen Simmons Johnson, for the excellent work she is doing here in Eleuthera. Come on, let's. because as a leader, it isn't an easy job. Dealing with people like us ain't an easy job. We have so many personalities, <laughs> and when you are a leader, you have to be able to harness all of the personalities to make it one big happy family. Someday they up, someday they are down. But whatever day it is, you gotta keep them all on the same page doing the same things, making them smile when they don't want to smile because there's a job to be done. And so Mrs. Johnson, congratulations on the job well done. Principals and teachers, congratulations on a job well done. Parents, congratulations on a job well done. I don't know what Mrs. Audris Cavallo is gonna do next year. But I believe we've reached to that milestone where we have outgrown Governor's Harbor and we moved on to the Resource Center and look like we've outgrown the Resource Center. I don't know where else you're gonna go. But I believe maybe next year, if I can come back here and see all the honor students, maybe in a big banquet, sitting around a table and the girls dress up in their white dresses and the guys in their black suits and necktie. Wouldn't that be a wonderful experience? Yes. Yes. Well, Mrs. Clark, you get it. Mrs. Kamal, you get it. A task on your hand. But are there anyone who wants to see that happening here? Any teacher or parent? Come on, if you, if you want to see that happen, let me hear you clap. Yeah. 
Now we look around and make sure CC were all clapping. Because she's going to need a lot of help if that's going to happen. And I know it can happen. And she's a woman or lady who makes things happen, don't she? She got me up here speaking and I didn't plan to come up here. But I just want to say congratulations to our students. And I've been all over the Bahamas. My next stop is in Andros and Grand Bahama before we conclude our government house on May 1st. And last year, we had acknowledged that we would honor our local coordinator, Mrs. Audrey Scavallo. But I'm pleased to announce by the instructions given to me by the Board of Directors to summons Mrs. Ms. Scavallo into Nassau on the 1st of May at Government House to be recognized for her stellar award for the Outstanding Student Awards Coordinator here. So Mrs. Scavallo, I look forward to seeing you at Government House so you can be properly recognized for your labor of love every year for the past 11 years here in Eleuthera. And uh, we cannot pay you for the work that you do. It's beyond our salary boundary. And so ladies and gentlemen, next year, when I come, I want to come with my black tuxedo. And I want to wear a bow tie. And I want to sit at a table with Mrs. Helen Johnson and Ms. Audrey Scavallo and Mr. Th our member of Parliament, Theo Neely, and all the dignitaries here in Eleuthera as we celebrate our brightest and best students here in Eleuthera. So God bless you, continue to do well, and Eleuthera is safe, safe, safe. Thank you very much.
And you know a tree will grow and take 